Hello everybody, George B here. Today I'd like to show you how I made these cards. Uh, I've got one here. Now it started off, I was watching a lady called Natasha Foot, and she made this lovely card, this size, A6 size, using a generic stamp. And I liked it. And I case, tried to case it, but I couldn't because I didn't have a small stamp. All I had was this big stamp, um, so I thought, oh, well, I'll do it in a 5x7, and it turned out really well. I wanted to make it in an A6 size, so I did it with Good Morning Magnolia. It turned out just as nice, except I made a little mistake. Here, you can see it's hanging out. I put my cards together the wrong way but I'm going to show you how to do it and do it the right way. This way is the right way. I've got no bits sticking out here. It's all tucked in. So let's show you what we need. Right. To start with you need two card bases. Right, that five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and I don't know why that one's creased, but it doesn't matter because it's on the inside. Now then, when you fold them in half, they usually meet. But what you want to do is trim off a tiny piece on one end. Now I've marked these, so this is my front, so this is hole. I didn't need to do that. But what I did do is I trimmed like a sixteenth of an inch off of this end. And the same with the back. That's my back, so that's hole. So I tr trimmed off sixteenth of an inch off of this end. So that when we put them together, I've got my front and my back, I marked these so I wouldn't mess up. They actually shut together because this bit is joined in properly. So that's it. That's all we've got to do, and then they will open up like that. So let's glue these together. I know it's a lot of card. But the reason we're doing it like this, well, you need need to do it like this to get right. That is our card joined together, so it opens up. Openings on the left, like that. Now, we need to make a shape. This shape of a card. So to do that, I've got a ruler and a pencil. And I cut up, was it two inches or two and a half? Oh no, it was one and three quarters. So I've got my ruler and did one and three quarters there. Opened it up and then from the one and three quarters to the top of the back page, I drew a line like that. And I got my large scissors and cut down that line. There we are. Don't need that. And that's our card base. Right, now then, B 
because I'm going to use alcohol markers to colour in the image they will leak through here and we don't want them shown on the other side of the card so we have got three um, card bases at eight eight four and one eighth they will fit nicely now this one is the middle this one has had a piece taken off this inside edge just so that it won't rub against the um, fold it sits nicely in there and the same with the back the back's the same it's had a sixteenth taken off but the front is completely four and one eighth like that okay so we need these three bits to do our image on put that to one side And I'm bringing in my stamp positioner because it is easier. Because you need your three um, images in the exact same place. So I'm popping my card in the corner at the bottom. Obviously if you've got a stamper artist you will put it wherever you can. Right, that's oh, that's it. that's it. So I have put that like that, and I'm picking it up. Now I am inking it up with my Memento black ink and stamping it down. nice and we've got to do this three times so put in the next one exactly the same place ink up the image and stamp it down And do the last one. Our third one. So I'm finished with this. Let's put this back in. Lid on our ink and clean the stamp. You can't see my stamp because it was off camera. This is also retiring this time round. Right, now we have our three pictures, images. Right, the back, we need to colour the complete thing in. The middle, we just miss out for this leaf. And then the bottom, we just colour the bottom part in. So let's start with the back. 
Right, I'm doing it. In. I'm going to change the colour of the flower. So we're having our flower in petal pink. Now we we'll have to colour the whole flower in because there's no way you would get, um, you know, if I just did this, there's no way I'd get it identical on all three pages. So we have to colour it in. I'm not doing really anything fancy because you'd have to Try and duplicate it. I mean, I could have had two of these already done and coloured in. For you, but then it's not showing you how to make or colour in the whole of the card. But if you don't want to see me colour these in, just fast forward it. Right, this one has to be coloured in completely as well. being careful around the edges. I think that is all I've got to colour on this. Most probably won't need all that. And let's brush is gone. No, that's not working. I think I'll have to get a new old olive. This one is Mossy Meadow Light. I don't 
don't think I needed this leaf but we'll just colour it in anyway and the same here I think I needed half or an edge of that leaf but on this one I need all the leaves apart from the top one sitting there quietly colouring in, concentrating. Not that it needs a lot of concentration. Right, I am going to colour this in, but I know I don't need the top of this tree. A tree leaf but it's done this one which is back I need everything Leave. All right, now then, uh, we want a brown. So I've got dark crumb cake just to do these. got to be done on all of them And then we need Daffodil Delight for the centres. And that is that. Now I did put splatter dots on them, but I didn't bring the stamp set. Let me get the stamp set. I am going to splat a dot round the edges. On the others, I did them in yellow, but you can't see them. So saffron. And this time, I'm going to do them in 
purple posy. Got the flower out, don't need the flower. Stamped off. So let's see what the light. Yeah. Purple posy stamped off, so all I'm doing is going round the flower like that. Then I know where to put it on each one. In there, in there, and in there. In there. And in there. That was all I needed. back in there. Right, now time to stick these on. So we're going to stick the back one in first and that is annoying me. I've got, when you cut your paper you sometimes get a ridge. And I've definitely got one on this one. Right. That's going to go in there like that. So let's put that in first. And we want it flush with the edge of our card, this edge. When you close it over, see you just see these two leaves. Right next, we're going to put the middle in, and again we want that flush with our card, with the edge like that. Right now, to know where it's got to go, and glue. And then that goes all the way at the top. Like that. And then what we do is chop off this bit. It lines up lovely with, she says, it's out a fraction of an inch. Oh, there you are. So now we have to line this up. So Glue from there. Glue it all from there. Right, we're going to make sure we've got that all lined up. is hanging over there. Might have to trim that down. Right. Now we're going to trim this
Right. On that one I actually put happy birthday, but on this one I'm going to put thinking of you. Or heartfelt love. Oh, I like that one better. Heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you. Let's put that on. Use our Versaphone. Want to make sure it's on straight. So use the scrap, yeah. And I'm going to stamp it just there. do is add some gems and I'm just going to add, oh I need them, some crystal gems. Now I try to add three on each section. So let's Did I put these? And then on this one, put one there, one there, and have to put one there. That may stop it shutting. That one's too close. So, before it dries, we'll put that up here. That's better. So there we have it. Our trifold card. I hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, You'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Please don't forget to comment, to hit the like button and to share.